Worst case scenario is I set the van on fire or blind myself. <laughs> This van life sucks. This isn't what I thought it would be. I admit I done wrong. Turning around and going back the way I came. I know now how air conditioning works. So let's just fix it. Don't give up now. Yes. Admitting you went wrong and then going back and undoing the work you did that's so destroying you know you just feel like giving up you're like oh it's easier to give up than to go back <sighs> look who it is look <laughs> yeah I started out I made this hole but it turns out it's way too small. I need it to be that big. Then I need an exhaust, which is going to be huge, and has to be has to be the size of that. Going out the side. I thought just one vent. I was dumb. I didn't understand how air conditioning works. One sucks in and one pumps out. Womp womp womp. <laughs> yes. Okay. Right now, this is going there, roughly. Like there's an edge here. I think I can at least go that far. There's an edge about here, about here. I can go as far as I can get in on this side. That's pretty good, it's pretty close, right? This will also be drainage. So all condensation can just dribble out. Bing, bing, bing! It's angle grinder time. I've cleared the carpet, but there's all this stuff. I mean, I don't want to take everything out. I moved anything highly flammable like paper towels, the mattress. I mean, even this is kind of flammable. Here's my line of defense. I've got tons of water there ready because I know I'm going to be making sparks. And maybe I should even like wet the seat. <laughs> Just just in case, I don't know, one little spark. Let's not give it any ideas. Let's just have it, everything over here is kind of damp. I'll constantly be keeping my eye on the sparks. I've even got safety goggles. How do I look? I almost poked myself in the eye with my own. That wouldn't be good, would it? Safety goggles. Ah! Worst case scenario is I set the van on fire or blind myself. So as long as we can protect from those two things, we should be okay. Zing zing, $15 grinding. Grind in on that booty. <laughs> we grind in on that booty, what's this? Okay, I don't know what those are for. Ah. All right. Is that really going to cut? That doesn't seem like that's going to cut anything. I think that's just for grinding. Ceramic grain. Designed for use with an angle grinder. Yeah, but it's not designed to cut stuff, is it? Ah, rust removing, cleaning. Got the wrong thing. Just, I just read that bit which says it's designed for use with an angle grinder. So I was like, okay, great, that's what I need. It's just glorified sandpaper. Alright then, into Home Depot we go. I'm just leaving my little desk and uh, foam board outside, locked everything else up. Got my most valuable things here. I never like to leave real valuable things in the van. I mean stuff like priceless things, like my hard drive with all my footage. Can't be replaced. There's literally one copy and I have it with me. And that's one of my tasks I want to do when I get in the air conditioning office space. Sit and back up everything. So it's no big problem that 
I don't have the right parts for the grinder thing because we're right here. <laughs> this is why I like to use their car park. I know it's a good shady spot. Shady. I know no one's going to bother me. And even I see campers that kind of seem to come and spend the night. Maybe I should spend the night. You don't know till you try. I've avoided staying in any car park so far. <laughs> All right, this is more like it. These are actually solid and tough. For angle grinders, metal cut off. So for those of you who've been paying attention, the van, when it was first bought, came with nothing but a pair of gloves. <laughs> That's what was in here. So... They finally get to do some work. I was reading the instructions, it says you need to wear a full apron. Instead, I'm just basically naked. I want it like that, right? Okay. Yes, that's enough practice. In progress, look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Look at me, look at me, the $14 van modifier. I'm just getting sparks all over my legs. Probably not a lot I can do about it. Put some trousers on, I don't have any. Sticking a little bit of duct tape there because that's loose now. So I don't want it to be too wobbly. And this last little bit, boom, across the top, boom, that'll do it. Yeah, this is actually really easy. Yes! All the water stations are all good. I'm glad I didn't empty the whole van. That would have been a waste of time. Okay, now I feel confident to attack this. This is where I would like the panel to go. It would be a lot easier if it was up there. You don't want a vent there. I also don't really want the air conditioning unit, which is very heavy, very dangerous, very large, behind my head. If there was some kind of accident, it might go -ah, bonk, clonk me in the back of the head. Right, there's the fuel, there's some little air. You know, it's just too high up is gonna be too like obvious. Hey, look at me. It's gonna be a lot more difficult. <laughs> That's really what it comes down to. Two layers thick, all kinds of wobbly going on, all kinds of different contours that I gotta think about. Where are we gonna go? I guess we gotta go as close as far that way as possible. Skip out on this funky contour by going there. Eh. Eh. Let's go along here because it's pretty straight. More bigger, more better, more air flow. And then come down as close as I can get. Uh, oh, this, this bit of wood's gonna be in the way. Pull this up. Uh, <laughs> nope, <laughs> apparently not. I gotta say, this is really quite a thrill. Like, this morning and yesterday, I was so disappointed that my air conditioning attempt number one, Operation Aircon, phase one, failed. I was almost ready to give up. And now on the flip side, I feel empowered. I feel like I could cut this hole. I, I feel like this will be successful. It's something I never do. I don't do tools and all this stuff. I, I don't really do, you know, anything mechanical or power tools or metal things with sparks. The worst thing about the sparks was they were going whoop whoop and going up my shorts, and tickling my balls. I got sparks on my bollocks. <laughs> Yeah.
Just a good old cassette boy Never meaning no harm Someday the law might get him Fighting the system like a two modern day Robin Hood all right, morning all. It's the morning after the night before, and we have added a hole on the outside and a vent. It got a bit dark last night to keep filming. And the dirty looking rust patches aren't great either. But I have a solution. Dun dun dun. I've been using some wire wool and a wipe. So it's not too scratchy, but it's a little bit scratchy and a little bit wet and it takes it off so that's good I've been driving all this time all this time I've been going through such pain and personal anguish and all this time I've been going through such pain and personal anguish <laughs> such hell for nothing <laughs> oh god that's funny you can just lightly rub it off Oh, that was a bit of a nasty scratch. Gotta be careful with the wire wall. I have just scratched it a little bit. A little more stealth and a little less like a loser. This is an adventure. Tonight, take an exclusive behind the scenes look at everyone's favorite TV series. Seb Cow. <laughs> Now, in his first international TV interview, I come up trumps. Asked. Mr. President. You're a big man, by the way. And I think we might have a very good relationship, perhaps sometimes in bed. And me too. It would be great to hold you lying in bed. Because you spent a long period of time with me. I can tell you, I have a very, very bad direction. It's a lot smaller than it was last year. It's going to be shaken up and stuffed really up here. But let's not be too hasty, Mr. President. 